and it happened to me too, when I was just 13. One of the teachers at my school befriended me, and then began to sexually abuse me, several times a week, for almost two years. He used me like a sex slave, as if he owned me, and to keep me quiet he threatened that terrible things would happen to me if I told anyone about it. The abuse eventually stopped after I had told the headmaster what was happening to me. But no one tried to help me. They just moved the teacher to another school and told me that I wasn't to tell anyone else about it. Like you, I tried to get on with my life the best that I could, but I couldn't seem to forget about it. As I got older, I started drinking and taking drugs to block out the memories, but they wouldn't go away. Over time, I developed psychological problems that got worse as the years went by. Eventually, in 1998, I suffered a serious mental breakdown, which was diagnosed as a post-traumatic stress disorder. I was told that I also had a chronic underlying depressive illness, something they said I had probably suffered from for years, all because of the abuse I had experienced in my childhood. Over the next three years, I had counselling and antidepressants, but they were not very effective. No one really seemed to understand what I'd been through, and more particularly, they didn't understand the full extent of the damage sexual abuse causes long after the abuse has stopped. I thought many times about ending my life. It seemed the only way to make the pain stop. Somehow I managed to survive, and in 2003, I wrote a book about what had happened to me, and I set up the Lantern Project. This was to help other victims learn how to cope with their problems. The Lantern Project now supports more than 1,000 survivors of all ages and we have developed our own therapeutic counselling programme which enables survivors to disclose what they have experienced without re-traumatising themselves in the process. This safe disclosure process helps us empower the survivor to understand how they can recover. If you would like to talk to someone who understands what you've been through, contact your Deaf Centre or contact the Lantern Project and we will help you.